Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh Oh, you're adorable! Hi, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if it's your first time here. I'm so happy to have you here for another day in life vlog. My name is Rebecca. I am a stay-at-home mom of three little ones. My oldest daughter will turn three in January and then I also have twin babies that will be four months next week. So yeah. Um as you may be here, I'm a little sick. I feel way better than yesterday. Way, way, way better. So I'm definitely getting better. But I'm still just feeling a sick. My nose is stuffy. My thor and uh, my throat is a little sore. Oh my goodness. Um, my ears are hurting a little bit. It's just, it is not too bad, but I'm just a little sick. Um, and I really need some rest time. I just feel like when I'm doing more and more and more, I'm just feeling not good. So I need to rest a little more. Um, that's the one thing. And then the other thing is my daughter is sick. So like my oldest daughter, um, like she had a pretty high fever on Sunday evening and then on Monday and on Tuesday we actually had an appointment for doing getting some blood work done and I went to this doctor's point, doctor appointment Tuesday morning which was really fun because I went with all three children on my own and we had to wait like one and a half hours in total so yeah it was really fun it went better than I thought but it was just I was exhausted when we came home and yeah now she has to take antibiotics since then because they tested her positive for streptococcus she is still sick um, she still needs to rest, to rest, so she's right now sitting over there in the living room and watching a show. I just let her watch the show while I was putting the babies down. It is 10, I think, now, and I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I'm trying to put the wake to, oh my goodness, to 
make their wake windows a little longer now because i feel like they're at that age now that i just awake a little longer um but the other point is they're in their fourth leap and their leaps are always on point like when you look at the wonder wonder weeks up and i can really tell they are in a leap like they're so cranky and just not in a good mood um and especially like her she was always the super duper happy baby and now she is not so happy anymore and um even though i think today is a good day because in the morning today she was pretty in a good in a pretty good mood so we will see and the night was good the night was way better than the last nights like the last three or four nights were not good at all because that's the other point i think they are entering their four month sleep regression now which was a really hard sleep regression with our first daughter so i'm kind of scared especially with having two babies like the last four days they were really not good like they were awake every 30 minutes every hour if we would get a two hour stretch that would be insane and last night um to put them to bed at 8 30 was kind of late yesterday and then he was awake at 10 30 to nurse then both were awake at around 1 a.m i think and then both were awake at 5 a.m and then they were awake at 7 she woke up at 7 he woke up at 7 15 i think but yeah um that was a pretty good night let's go i will just take you down <laughs> So you probably cannot tell from there. Really in a good position. Maybe like this. <laughs> you cannot tell from there. We always have this condensated water here on our door in the winter time, and yeah. So from time to time, we need to address that. Actually, pretty often in winter time. Like, it's really, really cold at the moment. It's really cold. We probably need to do that every other day. Throw that on the floor. <laughs> oh, fun for me. And hey, okay. Oh. I don't even want to see the dirt down there. So I got a really, really pretty book. This book, I looked it up, it is available in English as well. So I will definitely link it down below in German and in English. Um, it is called We're Waiting for Christmas the, with the most beautiful winter stories from all over the world. And um, yeah, I just, I think it is so beautiful. I couldn't resist, I just bought it. Um, and it has like 18 stories, I think, and they're from all different countries, which is just, yeah, it is just so, so nice, so nice. And I plan to read one of those stories 
to Paulina every day. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait a second. Um, like you can see the pictures. Oh, okay, Maria. I think you're already wake again. <laughs> but it was nearly an hour. So better than nothing. But yeah, like you can see the pictures. They are so pretty. I love I love how pretty this book is. It's just, it's just beautiful. Um, it's just so beautiful, as you can see. So it might be a really pretty gift as well, maybe for when somebody's hosting and you want something to bring. I think it is just a beautiful book and yeah, beautiful pictures and just a nice way to yeah celebrate um, the Christmas season. You can see it's from all over the world. I love things like that and yeah, it just treated us to this book. Thank so God. we're going to read the first story. I hope the story is as good as the book looks. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, here's this. Hi, Pihanis. Hi. Hi, little kid. Hi, little kid. Today is definitely a better day for those two, and I decided what day two, why those two, oh my goodness, are over there and are pretty content and happy. I will cook some dinner. I just put it in a slow cooker. Ah! So, okay, let's see I will put a curry together in, oh my goodness, <laughs> in the crock pot today because I really don't feel like cooking a lot today. And I still love my crock pot. I see you already know when you're here for a few videos. Um, yeah, hold on. We're adding two cans of diced tomatoes. Get it, Mama. Mama. Okay. First one. I open that. Oh, that's difficult to open. Little Henry joined the party. He was unhappy down there. No, oh, he's unhappy in there as well. Okay, you have to be careful. One can of chickpeas. Chickpeas. Drained chickpeas. And You're supposed to add one head of go uh, not garlic, broccoli, fresh broccoli. I only have frozen broccoli. So I'm trying to figure out how much one head would be. Okay, now you're supposed to add one sweet potato and one onion. I don't know if my little helper down here and my little baby down there will let me do that or if I need to come back. Okay, you add one diced onion. I accomplished that. So 
So as you maybe see, you will add one nice sweet potato. And uh, I'm trying to get it done over there. Okay, Paulina is now entertaining Henry uh, while trying to get some stuff on. So one sweet potato is in here. It's a big portion, as you can see. Okay, we have half the cup of quinoa. Okay, we add some. Okay, wait a second. Hold on. Okay, we put in some. Uh, what is it called? Paprika? Oh, mm -mm. Paprika powder. We also put in some curry powder. Okay, that's not coming out. I don't know why. A little bit of pepper, just a little bit. Here we go. Some salt. Okay. Okay, that was plenty. <laughs> Um, and where is my turmeric? Oh, here's my turmeric. No, finger out of there. Okay, curry powder. Mm, I will probably add more whenever I have free hands. Stir that all up. Um, here. Okay, here. Uh, oh no, let's keep it at that. Here. Done. How fun was that? Hmm? Not really. Cooking in peace? Yeah, that's fun. Cooking like that? Not so fun. I have one little baby there, another one eating her pouch, and then I'm trying to uh, get some toast done. I think you're not seeing me at all. Well, that's the point when you're not prepared. Oh, oh my goodness! She just yeah, licked the table. These are the moments where you feel like, why am I doing that to myself? I'm actually trying to get a bread ready for her with peanut butter. Um, she just had a pouch and everything went on the table. And now she just licked it from the table the moment I was getting her, her paper towel. Yeah, and he's hungry and I'm happy. So I'm nursing him on the go. La 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 At least one of them is happy and content over there in a bouncer. Yeah, please enjoy my chaotic singing. Yeah, that was it. I have some frozen bread in the toaster room. And, um, you know what I'm doing. <sighs> yeah, it is 12.15. Everybody needs to go to bed. They're hungry, Dara. Or at least he's hungry and he is um, he's tired. I'll try to put him down for a minute so I can make the bread. Okay, it is 1 p.m. All three are in bed. Hopefully, little ones will sleep for at least an hour, hopefully. Um, yeah, I'm exhausted after this morning already. I was down to rest. No, probably not. No, probably not. When I look over to the kitchen, I will probably not sit down and rest. But that's fine. Um, yeah, I decided to end the vlog, morning, my life, video, whatever it is, right here. Because... Um, my mom would come over in the afternoon, we would just play with the little ones, I would just try to clean up the kitchen, vacuum, do some basic stuff, laundry, things like that. And yeah, I think it just makes more sense to end it here. It was pretty chaotic. I hope you enjoyed this really real and raw insight in our morning. Um, yeah, if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that red subscribe button. I would love to see you in my next video.